so that changes everything. So I, I don't talk. either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to. <laughs> Too much time. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we are live. That's what it says on my end. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to share with Telegram so we can get some people in here. We want to have questions today, you guys. Whoever's listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're looking for questions about how you're feeling right now. So, Amelia, how are you feeling? You know, this week has been pretty rough. I have really just wanted to um, rest and, but I also want to like deep clean my house at the same time, but I don't, um, it yeah. just felt pretty heavy and, um, just tired. And like we were talking about, I was checking in on my adrenal, uh, my thyroid and it was okay, but there's other stuff I'm definitely moving through with my solar plexus and, um, I've had a lot of upgrades too. I had a chiropractic adjustment last oh. week and something she adjusted i felt like this square right here just open up <laughs> it was so crazy and i was like well there's the third eye just bursting open more i guess <clears throat> and so a lot of a lot of head integration energies were definitely moving through for me yeah. and things are just feeling different um just everything feels expanded and new it does feel new. It feels like we really went through a portal. Um, and it feels like we haven't settled yet. Like no. it's still, everything's up in the air. I have no motivation to do anything no. <laughs> like, as far as like the house is messy. Um, uh -huh. There's a lot of stuff that I have like lists of things that I want to create. Nothing's happened. Damn. So it's part of like this floaty weirdness that's going on because nothing is solid right now. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of Ascension symptoms going on. And I know I'm doing some things in for my body and it's like affecting other parts of my body. So then I'm having to figure out what to do for that part of the body. Like, you know, one organ is like cleansing and then that affects another organ. Mm -hmm. So just kind of working with yourself and giving yourself time and the space to figure out what is going on is really important. So, yes. Um, yeah. So we are the ones is in limbo, a lot of external pressure too. I felt that as well. Mm -hmm. Like this morning I was very irritated and I realized that it was coming from my soul because my soul didn't want to deal with something that was old, like an old layer of yucky stuff. Mm -hmm. And they are, they're dealing with it now because <laughs> my inner child's like, you deal with it. I don't want to, I don't want to feel this way, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So that happened. And yesterday I got a whole bunch of spider bites, which was, oh my gosh. yeah, little tiny spider bites. And I think it was from my new office trailer. I was sitting in there. Um, so spiders mean money, I guess. Somebody told me that once. So Ooh, I'm going to hey. go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, I learned something new. This might be helpful. And I, I did a little quick um tiktok on it somebody was doing a reading whenever i go on tiktok somebody's doing a reading confirming what i'm already working through mm -hmm. and and it was interesting she had said that um your relationship with your mother affects how you receive money and the relationship with your father affects how you hold money and i was blown away by that because i'd never heard that before um and so if there's something that needs to be dealt with under the, and you know, under the radar, even you can do that behind the scenes, um, to help open up that flow. Everyone needs it right now. Yeah, definitely. And also cleansing the genetic lines when it comes to money, like mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. parents 
money was always the issue, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to go through lots of work to cleanse that out. And even if I made money really well, doesn't mean it didn't mean I kept it very well. So there was a lot of stuff there. And it took me quite a while of really big digging to dig out all the money stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I did a lot of layers. <laughs> yep. So let's see what questions we have. People are really asking them now. They're long, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so sore throats. Yeah. And I feel like there's a lot of purging that I want to do, like as far as the house goes. So that mm -hmm. is coming up now too. Yep. Um, Same. Yep. Yeah. Trust the process, Laura. She lost her job. Um, that actually something new and better is going to come along for you to be doing. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of like colds, like I had a sinus thing and then a lung thing. My nose is still wacky. Um, Same here. Your mic is fabulous, Colt says. It oh, is. thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I missed that. He said the blue logo is supposed to face you. Oh, is it? See, I thought so, but I like <laughs> it facing out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it probably is louder if it faces you i know there's three settings and i think there is it like i don't know it yeah. does make me uh, yeah I, I i think you're right but we'll see <laughs> <laughs> she likes to do that way. okay so um ali appreciates us answering for her son ryan wow my eyes i have to hold this out really far um, my eyes have been definitely blurry mm-hmm so arms and shoulders are very uncomfortable. So this is from spirit dancing. Okay. Um, so it is ascension symptoms, but it's also something you're holding on to. It's a burden. Mm -hmm. So it feels like your soul's burden. So ask them to take your angels up into the Akash and deal with whatever that burden is. Something mm -hmm. they don't want to see. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And then your back will feel better. I can't even, even tell you, like, I was so irritated this morning. And as soon as I figured out why, and I said, you deal with that stuff. Like, even if it's hard, we have to deal with all of our stuff. And once my soul started doing that, I felt fine. <laughs> it totally removed the anxiety. So... Ellen is sun gazing a lot, which is fabulous. Nice. Must be a delay. I'm not seeing those yet. But a lot of people are feeling kind of stuck right now, but it's mainly because we're in limbo. It's not really being that stuck. It's a big limbo. It's the limbo's been here for quite a while. So we're mm -hmm. integrating so much during this time. Yeah. So Ulyss is um her heart is happy and positive one day and then heavy the next. But she's just working through layers. Mm -hmm. So you're actually doing really good. Yeah, it feels like a lot's happening in sleep as well. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the birds are louder for Peggy. She's outside walking every day. Good job. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It is a time for cleansing and clearing. Michelle feels awful. Oh. Uh, thyroid disease, bad depression. So when I asked, because my I'm cleansing right now, and your thyroid a lot of times will get affected when you're cleansing. So I'm taking a bovine thyroid pill. And my higher self said, at the max, I'll need it for three months while I cleanse my body. So um, I'm not a doctor, but I would say go see a naturopathic doctor because they really can help you with a lot of different natural medication. And watch the thyroid video 
too. There's a lot of great suggestions that might stand out to you that we talked about. Yeah. Um, Sue's 47 has had a headache since yesterday. Ooh. It's not stress related. So it's like you're holding your crown chakra from opening up. So I'm feeling you might want to massage your head, but also ask your soul, why are you holding it back? Something about you're afraid of what's going to happen. You're afraid of what you're going to know. So it's your inner child is holding it back. I'm feeling the physical too. I usually feel it moving down to the temples and it's doing kind of like this kind of thing, like not sure mm -hmm. where to go. Like a crazy yarmulke. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so Tammy's feeling really good. That's awesome. Um, she did have a headache and sore eyes though yesterday. Yeah, I feel like our body is preparing for better sight. And like, that's a big part. And also opening up the brain to actually receive versus being the decision maker, because it's not supposed to be the decision maker. Right. <clears throat> Miss Sovereignty woke up with a kind of sprained wrist. Interesting. Is it, which side was it on? I wonder, it feels like the right. Yeah. It feels like the right to me too. Oh, it says, right. it says right. Says oh. right. Okay. Yeah. I've not um, seen that one for some reason. Yeah. Feels so I think she punched somebody. She went like this, <laughs> um, in the astral plane. It was like, you were trying to get somebody's attention. Obviously this, this was just light body stuff, but it was pretty forceful. You went through their body when you did it. It feels like, um, Colt is fed up with the world situation. Yeah, try and have some fun, Colt. Really important. Go and have some fun. I know that we're, like, if you're in survival mode, go to the park. Go do something that's free, that's enjoyable. And be with nature. And that will loosen up your nervous system and you'll be better off. And things will be more abundant. I'm also seeing him saying, asking if the, the thyroid is the higher heart and the higher heart's actually the thymus. Yeah. So. Which the thymus has been very stagnant too. Feeling lots of flutters in my thymus. Mm -hmm. These days with the activations. Uh, is the IV drug rec class good or not? So we're not doctors, doesn't feel nice to me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I'll tell you one thing, when I went off of, um, so most of your bones are composed of silica. So you wanna make sure you get enough silica. You wanna look up what are bones actually made of and make sure you're getting those nutrients. But um, there's like, what was I going to say? Oh, milk, milk, cow's milk. <clears throat> Once I quit drinking that, my asthma went away, but also my nails became like rocks. So my nails used to just peel. Little layers of peeling would come off of my nails. And as soon as I quit with the milk, that was done. So your bones, when you drink cow's milk, because the proteins are so large, mm -hmm. it pulls calcium out of the bones in order to digest. So keep that in mind. Get a different kind of milk. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's some pretty clean ones, or you can make your own. It's pretty easy if you like to do that sort of thing. Yeah. And I buy powdered goat's milk at this point. And I was afraid it was going to taste goaty the first time. <laughs> got it but it's fine I just put a little vanilla and a little bit of monk fruit little tiny bit in there and mix it up in hot water and then I fill the rest of the jar up and we have goat milk it's a very easy process okay 
Um, so Allie wants to know if her mom will be okay. She's getting a pacemaker installed. I feel like yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, feels pretty decent. Yeah, Brazil nuts are really good for the thyroid because they have selenium. Mm -hmm. I would watch that thyroid 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 video that Amelia and I did last week. Um, and this is for Carol Lynn. They say they Carol only need Lynn. like two or three a day to get enough selenium. Yeah, I think it's two. Two, yeah, I always forget uh, which number. And they're better if they're soaked. So nuts have, I think it's leptins in them mm -hmm. and that basically anti-nutrients. So they're hard on your body because your the nut tree doesn't want you to eat them. That's the seed. So make sure you sprout your stuff. And I, I actually crispy them too. So I'll soak them in a brine oh. and then dry them on a very low heat, like a dehydration um, heat. And then it breaks down a lot of that that's that parts the parts that are hard to digest on especially on the yeah. side so yeah I was really eating a lot of um cashew stuff and it was making me pretty sick I think mm. that was that part of my sick. vegan lifestyle you know when I was doing that and it really kind of screwed around with my body because the nuts were not like sprouted or anything was done to them before they were made into cheese and butter and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Tasted amazing, but <laughs> it is good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Kelly had three major neck surgeries and wow. then she feels blocked. So change your idea of what the rods are. Ask them to be a conductor to move the energy forward Mm -hmm. And that will probably help. And then also ask your soul to unblock anything that's left there. But it feels like you're going to be fine. Everything's energy. So just tell it where to go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Changing your idea about stuff is important. Mm -hmm. So somebody is yanking Chris's dog off the leash while they're walking. It just pops off and it's not really possible. There's a ghost. Yeah, I'm seeing like a taunting type energy. Yeah. So change your direction. It feels like it's kind of anchored in a certain area and you pick it up and it follows you and then it's leaves, you know, when you go back that way. So if you're going left, when you leave the house, go right instead, maybe. Oh, Sally saw a sign on the back of a bus for number one currency exchange. Took it as a sign. Yes. Nice. Yeah, we're yeah. so close. I mean, it's all built. We're just vibrating up to meet it right now. Yeah. So Sonia has Hashimoto's. Oh, I had that for 20 years. Yeah. She feels like she's missing something. Is it a nutrient? It was like iodine? Chromium? Oh. Yeah, iodine both? maybe it. both maybe it feels like both. Yeah, maybe the blood sugar needs a little support too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would do the cross crawl too. So look up cross crawl exercise with Donna Eden. Mm -hmm. And then she said her clients all of a sudden just go like she, they don't. She doesn't retain her clients. Part of the reason is you're healing them and they don't need you. Um, another part is like, they don't resonate completely. So start asking for your clients, the ones that show up that they are compatible to you. Mm -hmm. Cause some, some people, of them feel like they're not ready for you yet. 
I've, I've dealt a lot with that too. And so calling in your authentic soul clients was a phrase I heard once and that really stuck with me. So. Yeah. Yeah. So Kimmy has had a bunch of asthma attacks over the last few weeks. Um, it has to do with your releasing sorrow. Mm -hmm. So my lung stuff was sorrow releasing as well. And it's soul stuff. So get your soul to go up and deal with whatever's going on with it. They procrastinate just like we do. That's where we got the idea. So, um, yeah, definitely have them go up and deal with it. There is a lot of sorrow and a lot of um, shame around some of the deeper layers of what's happened on earth that's being cleared right now. Yes. Yep. So Sylvia doesn't want to do taxes. <laughs> Nobody does really. Right? Um, so legally, and I'm not an expert, you don't have to. But if you're working for someone, you would want to go in and make sure you were tax exempt. Mm -hmm. So it's all up to you what you do. But, you know, there's always lots of like extenuating circumstances with people. Whether you're married to someone who's doing them or you're like you have children and you need to do it because of that. Just do whatever works best for you. Mm -hmm. I know several people that do not do them anymore. Yep. I resisted massively until I was told to do them, but um, it's for my kids. Um, but yeah, it's like, doesn't feel like it's currently in the highest good, but she'll probably know pretty soon if she's meant to or not. But the energy around it's changed too, because I'm seeing a lot of people I know getting massive refunds that they've never had before. So yeah. So, um, let's see. I'm looking for another question. There's so many good things coming through. It's hard yeah. To so Monica's asking about her two estranged daughters. Will it be repaired soon? Feels more like the end of the year on the current trajectory. One does it feel the like? like right away mm -hmm. um some things have to change mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of layered like yeah. piece by piece so peggy says she has a small hard crystal like bump on the side of her cheek feels like a calcium deposit to me something like that mm -hmm. maybe some heavy metals too yeah, I get it popped out of there if we can. Um, maybe a dermatologist. Be careful with your own skin. Don't go to town on your own skin. Um, what is the opinion on drinking borax? Uh, this comes up in my Yeah, it's a touchy one. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything bad about it at all. I think it could be very good, but I don't mm -hmm. want to get like deep into it on YouTube because it's one thing that on TikTok, a lot of people got like their stuff taken down. It's case by case. Let's just say yeah. that like people, some people can tolerate it. Some people cannot. So um, muscle testing it and going as slow as you need to. And then, yeah, go look for what it does and other yes. platforms <laughs> sorry that's a very convoluted answer um so real life with the petersons feels very grounded to the ground so you're very earthy very earth oriented right now there's something though, like maybe some sun gazing would be really good for you. Like you also need to like see beyond the earth too. Like I'm feeling. I'm feeling inner earth energy. Yeah. 
she was an inner earth person. Yeah. So the pineal gland sun gazing is really good um, mm -hmm. for this one person who asked it, Darlene. Um, there feels like a little bit of heavy metal stuff going on. Yeah, there's a reflex point for your pineal gland with the third eye here and then pituitary hypothalamus. They're all right here. So even just putting your hand like this, this is another Donna Eden mm -hmm. technique, or I often put essential oils on those spots too to help them open up. Yeah. Um, eczema on the back of my neck, Luz says. How can I kick it? So it's all gut related. So you really want, um, colostrum is really helpful from goat's milk. Um, there's medicine you can buy for it. I just ordered some homeopathic medicine for it. Cause I realized that I have a few blisters and I realized they were eczema. Yay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so like doing that babying your thyroid because it's connected to the thyroid so if you think about the gut the gut is what is like where your whole immune system basically is so anything that's good for your immune system is going to help um what are you getting amelia on his individual um, I'm feeling it in the gallbladder spot. There's like a meridian, gallbladder meridian spot, and maybe some underlying parasite activity as well as what you're saying. Mm. The skin yeah. and parasites. I mean, like you said, they're they're kind of being blasted out right now. So they like to come through the skin sometimes, some of that residue, shall we say? Yeah. So Father of Dragons is saying, what am I doing in the astral plane? something to do with the dragons. I feel like you actually are part of the dragon soul group. That's it's what it feels so like to me. It looks, it looks fun too. Like, yeah. yeah, almost like, you know, those planes and they're doing tricks in the plane. Um, they're going backwards and they're doing barrel rolls and they're doing stuff like that. <laughs> You're right. doing that in the astral without a body like just your light body. You're having a lot of fun, actually. It does look fun. <laughs> um, okay, so Tammy's like, I can't wait to not wear glasses. Me too. <laughs> yes. Me too. I bought these glasses that were supposed to adjust the whole, um, you know, what do you call that? The prescription. So you turn a dial and it's supposed to adjust and I get them in the mail. They were $30, you know, you get them in the mail and I'm like, Oh, I'm going to break this. Like <laughs> maybe my eyes are too terrible. I don't know. <laughs> it's like very disappointed in that. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. Because you can exercise your eyes and you can actually make your eyes better. But what mm -hmm. do you do in the interim? You know, like, can you drive when they're halfway healed and you don't have a pair of glasses for that? No. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Janice is feeling, and I can't pronounce the name. It sounds like Hawaii, like one of the islands of Hawaii. Hawaii? Is it yeah, that? it's not Hawaii, though. It's Hawaii. Maybe Why, yeah, that's, I think I saw that one. Yeah. So she feels dragon and giant energy. So you have Titan energy over there. And you also have, dra I mean, dragon energy is everywhere. But um, Pele is part Titan. The, like Pele has a soul and it is part Titan. And it is definitely not taking anything from anybody. 
I'm not going to say the word, but we'll not take any from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's um, why it's been on my mind. So that's interesting that came up. So. so Jareen walked into her house today and felt weird. She Ooh. sees a half moon and a circle next to it in a purple plane. Oh, in purple, plain as day. That's something that's in the sky right now that you remember, like you saw it, but you couldn't, it's like you bypassed it. You're like, oh, well, yeah. And then you go into your house and you calm down just for a second and you get a different light and then you see it, you can see it in your head. Almost like when you look at the sun and you all of a sudden have like a little dark hole. So that was actually part of the real sky. That's cool. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, Josie, my osteoarthritis in my right hand and back has flared up. And it really hurts. So really ask your soul what's going on. This feels like a soul issue. There's a lot of them. There's a little genetic stuff in there too. Yeah. And it's kind of like these, these things that are coming up again to show us really, we need to get to the root of it. And, mm -hmm. and now's the time. Yeah. So. so ask your angels and your soul to go and get it done. Um. Okay. Stopping dairy. I know dairy is a tough one too. It's addictive too, because it has an opiate type reaction in the body, like a calming reaction. So when you drink milk or you have ice cream or whatever, it's calming your system, but it's also really hard on your system. Mm -hmm. And I don't notice that same reaction with the goat milk. So, and there's great goat cheese now. I mean, it used to be very hard to find yummy goat cheese, but it's really good now. <laughs> like I can find it. <laughs> Somebody's uh, asking about raw milk and yeah, typically raw milk is better. And some yeah. people can tolerate that more than um other things um you know so really just ask your body if goat's milk is better or cow's milk or yeah something else okay so brenda is like i didn't gain one pound all winter but as soon as spring came i started getting fluffy what is with the weight gain seen a lot of weight questions today. Yeah. So a lot, part of it is our perception. We have to let go of the, what we see in the mirror mm -hmm. and start talking to our body about, listen, this is your normal state. Um, for Darlene, it feels, or no, Brenda, um, where's that? It feels like heavy metals really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of our, the information and energy that's coming in will cause us to like swell up as we're healing too. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, if there's heavy metals or parasites, whatever needs to be purged out, we can look and feel bigger. Sometimes it is fat and the toxins are moving through and then it'll finally move on through sometimes water weight. It's a whole combination. Yeah. Yeah. So just kind of I don't know. I like, if you don't have a, I get a binder. And like we said, we're not doctors, but charcoal is a binder. Um, clay is a binder. Like bentonite clay is a great binder. Ulvic that acid will help is flush things through faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Castor oil is great. If you're cleansing. I've been using a lot of fulvic acid to help flush things out that I'm working through. Mm-hmm. 
So Sonia's son has been looking for a job a long time and has, and nothing has happened. Block He's blocking chance. something subconsciously like abundance, mm -hmm. but also he's meant for something bigger. Mm -hmm. Yep. I just heard not just any job. Yeah. So Kimmy is going for cataract surgery next Wednesday. Yes, everything will be okay. I do get mm -hmm. that. Now, I think that there's a nutrient that people are lacking when they get cataracts. So I would look that up. I can't remember what it is. I can't either. Yeah, it just went out of my head. Um, May Lynn um, says, is her mom around since passing two months ago? Is she hanging around her? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And you guys know, like you intuitively know what's happening, actually. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. So Colt isn't sleeping that well. Well, I feel like it's a magnesium thing for you. And also you're kind of hanging on to fight or flight a little too, too tightly. And I heard nervous system. So that's exactly what you're saying. Just the nervous system needs some regulation with magnesium and mm -hmm. deep breathing would also help. Sometimes if I'm ramped up at night, I'll just do a lot of deep breaths throughout the whole body. Yeah. So Ella's having teeth going on, falling apart. It feels like a nutrient issue to me. Mm -hmm. So changing over to the crystalline body used up a lot of nutrients also, what Amelia said the other day, that the adrenals dump the minerals, like if they have a freak out. And all we've been doing is have a, having adrenal freak outs for the last several years. So, like, we don't have enough minerals in our body. So salt is really important. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, the really good gray sea salt what else i don't really like the pink salt. and i'm getting like the actual right i'm also getting for for this person like the cell salts like the homeopathic cell salts that you can get at a natural food store mm, yeah that'd be good islands maybe the brand h-y-l-a-n-d-s yeah and i'd probably get one of those um toothpaste with what is it called hydroxy appetite Mm hmm Yeah. Get one of those for right now. Okay. Darlene is like, I live in Virginia Beach. Is the sun our real sun? No, but the codes coming through the sun that we see most of the time are good. So how many times have we jumped parallels? Like, who knows what that is at this point, but most of the time we're getting good codes from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Janice is asking what minerals is she missing? Magnesium mainly, but I would take a full spectrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little manganese as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So through an Aquarius eyes has no problems. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so a lot of people are waking up with bruises and scratches and stuff. And we're not fighting in the astral, but we're dealing with our shadows. And some of us are guardians. So, and some of us are playing really hard. There is a boredom factor that has kind of come in when we go through these long periods of purging and some of the, some people get bored. So they're up there banging around, but it's not like meant as any sort of battle. So. The Grand Canyon. 
Ooh, that's a fun one. Yeah, it's so Egypt was in multiple places because if you think about Rome and you think about the Tartarians and you think about all of that, it was like dome wide. And then outside, it was basically um, bigger, bigger and more evolved. But um, in the dome, it was every civilization just evolved into the next. So the Egyptians were part of the Romans, were part of the, you know, um, and yes, the Grand Canyon was very involved in that. And it goes all the way down into Sedona, which the stuff in Sedona when I was there that I was feeling, I was like, oh, so deep, such deep, yucky stuff. But then the ETs are there too, and they're like on a whole nother level and they're just floating around up there. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So Stacy had a triangle shaped object follow her. That feels military to me. Um, yeah. It could have been like they were trying to make you think it was a spaceship because it, it feels like it was shaped more like one. Red Hawk said IRS is closed. Yes. Yes, I feel that for sure. Yeah. And will uh -huh. any of those taxes be collected? We'll see. Right. So. <laughs> um, Kat says her daughter has this voice that talks to her. Oh. And time speeds up. She feels like she understands it at the time, but it's not, but not afterwards. It is good. It's benevolent. It feels almost like her higher self. But yeah. maybe like maybe her oversoul more than the higher self. Like it feels bigger than that. Mm -hmm. She's a very evolved soul, your child. So she'll have a lot of good stuff to tell us. I'm picking up a lot of energy from people who are on today. <laughs> They're clearing some things out. So. Yeah. so in my opinion, what's going on with the I and the R and the S, because I don't want to say that too many times. Um, they basically, what is happening is they've been transferred over to the treasury. Mm -hmm. So if you're paying anything, that's where it's going and it's going to come right back to you. Agreed. <clears throat> yep. So Sandra says, somehow I'm always invisible. How can I change that? It's because your vibration is higher than the people that you mm -hmm. hang out with or are like passing. And I wouldn't want to change it. I would keep it. That's been my whole life. So I'm like, now I'm used to it. But for a while, I didn't understand that either. So find people who can see you that resonate with you and your soul family. Yes. Yeah. So Michael said, will Jupiter, the Jupiter Uranus, um, Uranus, excuse me, um, conjunction. <laughs> My husband would be so proud. Um, <laughs> usher in anything new and big. It is bringing in something big. And mm -hmm. the thing is that we have to get over as a group is thinking everything's going to happen on one day. <laughs> so it's like, it's like this roller coaster cycle and it's going to bring in a lot of stuff. It's kind of like, okay, the eclipse opened the doorway mm -hmm. and this conjunction is when we step through it and we actually see so it's I don't crazy. know about you guys, but I'm starting to see things with my eyes, like with the naked eye and it's like energy usually, or, and I'm like, Ooh, what's that? You know? And 
you can keep your body kind of calm down, you see more. <clears throat> okay. There's a lot happening out there for sure. It feels like it's going to ramp up. Not not ramp up. That's the wrong word. I'd say, yeah, we're going to feel some new things in a few days, potentially. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, I think so. So Valda says she lost somebody recently. Um, is he okay? And does he visit? He definitely visits. Mm -hmm. So I see him like in that, um, you know how they dressed in the 30s? Like with the, you know, the suits, the, they weren't the zoot suits, but you know, similar, very fancy. He's definitely having fun. So, and he's watching you almost all the time. Yep. Definitely visiting. So upper back pain, this is from Sharon for over a year. It is spiritual and it is something to do with like something's out. Feels like it's out. Structurally. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And a massage, like a few massages could help because it feels like the muscles are kind of yanking, like it's an imbalance, but mm -hmm. before you do anything, go and cut contracts and deal with the rest of the emotional stuff. Yeah. Cause if sometimes if those aren't dealt with too, then the, it'll keep coming back mm -hmm. it just keeps to let you know. Back. Yeah. Yep. Um, So Inez wants to know, so she just met somebody from a long time ago and it still feels so good. What can it mean? Twin flame or something else. It feels like soul tribe to me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel twin flames. That's really kind of done. The mm -hmm. twin flame was a split soul that agreed to have conflict usually so that it could learn. So we're not doing that anymore. We're, you know, instead, if they're still split, they're becoming like a divine partner or something. But to me, this feels like a cousin. So it's somebody that you know, that's in your soul group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's great. Definitely cultivate, you know, that relationship. So Jilly wants to know, my boyfriend is wanting to get another puppy. We have three dogs and two cats. <laughs> okay. And they're also remodeling. <laughs> I can see I this like puppy. It's not a good time. Yeah, I can see it for later, but it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would just say, let's set a date for when we get the new puppy. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say we'll put it on the calendar to start looking in August or whenever you're done with some of these projects and say, or it'll just show up. But the thing is, if you say that, he may make it show up. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That comes in he's like oh i found this stray little doggy <laughs> don't know how it happened oh <laughs> uh, that's funny i think we got most of them i'm looking through to see someone was asking about abundance blockages if they still needed some clearing work and for that particular person yes yeah i got a yes too yeah Yep. Um, and it is good to get rid of complex carbs. Somebody's saying it's mm -hmm. really important. Like I quit sugar and I really feel a lot better mm -hmm. and I wasn't eating much either, but the, the stuff that I was eating. Yeah. There's something about that switch that just changes so much. And I've been feeling 
the need to do some more juicing at home, not like a juice fast per se, but just in between meals to flush my system. Mm -hmm. Yep. I feel like we're in a big cleanse period. So it is a great time to cleanse in the spring, you guys. So mm -hmm. it really just make sure all your pathways are open. Like you're sweating, you're going mm -hmm. to the bathroom properly and your lymphatic system is getting attention. I just ordered this weird thing. That's like a hammer for your lymphatics and you bang on your body. <laughs> it's like, it's like a circular thing with cloth over it. And I'm like, Hmm, maybe I could do that. Maybe that would help. Cause I have the shaking machine and stuff, but I don't feel like all the lymph is getting moved as much as it could be. Mm, so. That's a really important one. Yeah. I, and I, I also think, forget to get on there. Well, yeah, that takes time. <clears throat> Yeah. I think kidneys might be good to cleanse for spring. If if I'm remembering Chinese medicine, I'll have to double check. So don't quote me. Yeah. But um, yeah, all the detox pathways, it's good to keep those open and flowing. And lot, I've got lots and tips and tricks. So for that, and I think we were going to do a video. More yeah, I think we're going to do a video on that anyway. Mm -hmm. yep. So that will be good. Yes. Okay. I feel like we got them all. I don't see anything else. Do you see anything? Um, there's a few little ones I think that I um that we didn't, but I'm not sure if we can get them all. Yeah. Some very oh, I see ones. my chat stopped working. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm seeing a few. Mine kept going, and so you. I thought mine was lagging, but apparently was both of us someone was asking um lauren i was asking about stomach cramps um if they drink something cold is there something going on yeah your body doesn't want that right now so yeah. i would do lukewarm um mm -hmm. body temperature yep drinking that's very ayurvedic way of drinking liquids yeah and cold is hard on the kidneys too mm -hmm. so one thing the only thing that i can think of that i would probably not do is those ice baths if you're having a kidney issue mm -hmm. yeah yeah i don't muscle test for those myself either i do a different version of that like when i used to get migraines which i don't anymore i would put a hot compress on my head and then just stick my feet in cold water and just let yeah. the limb do a, like a flip flop. And that's all my body needed. Didn't need the whole plunge. No. And I think that's enough. Like that goes through your nerves anyway, and through those mm -hmm. pathways. So, yeah. um, so Janice, should I bring the kitty from Hawaii? Yes. I get a strong yes on that. Um, mm -hmm. Stacy, your dog is seeing ETs. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. Um, tailbone pain. This is something, this is a parallel issue. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's something heavy needs to be cleared. Yep. So ask your angels and guides to go do that. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, hip pain is because we're working something out in the astral plane. Usually masculine is the right side. Feminine is the left side. Mm -hmm. So my hip has been bugging me for the past couple of days and it wasn't before. And then I found out, you know, cause my, my soul is slightly more masculine much to my surprise as the different facets of it came down. Um, and there is a, an issue that is being resolved that has to do with the layers of earth. So that's fun. Yeah. So that's what happens. And if your hip is bugging you, then just ask for whatever is going on that it be resolved in the astral plane. 
And I'm, I'm seeing a lot of right and left sides just in general for people that I work with too, just trying to work mm -hmm. things out. Like my left side felt like it was kind of tight and scrunched for a few weeks. And then it, I finally was able to open it up. So, and then also just integrating the right and left side too has been really helpful at making sure they're just communicating with each other. So, mm -hmm. yep. And you can have a feminine soul in a feminine body or the opposite and the opposite for men as well. So the souls that are coming in, they're more androgynous than anything else. Like if they can be whatever, that's a human idea. Like the whole drama about, you know, male, female stuff is more human but yep. it was more necessary for the 3D. And um, basically it's roles. What role are you playing in the um, astral plane? Yeah. So, you know, we just have to kind of go with all this stuff right now and let go of our ideas of what everything is supposed to always look like. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yes. That's huge. That yeah. will tell the most truth for you. Definitely. So sinuses, that just came up. Um, can you please tell me if my mother's sinuses will ever heal? So Kathy, she needs to work with some kind of um cleansing thing for the sinuses golden mm -hmm. seal is really good mm -hmm. uh hydrogen edible hydrogen peroxide that is mm -hmm. like put in an, um, a nebulizer is good mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff you can do but the mm -hmm. sinuses don't have a drain like they don't have a pump they don't have they just are like a cave so you have to figure out ways to get whatever medicine all the way back in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like with a neti pot or there's a ion biome makes a nasal spray too. that helps the microbiome as well. Yeah. I like this question. Will I meet my star family soon? This is. It comes in. She already has. I think so too. Yeah. So start looking them. at some of the people that you're communicating with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there is an increased talk of dementia. I think people are not hanging on to their memories as much anymore. And older people that were already leaning that way, they're kind of much more loopy. Making choices to go <laughs> in certain directions, but also they don't have the awareness and how to detoxify those things that need to go. Yeah. So Rebecca, your son has um, OCD and a urinary issue. <clears throat> so he's got these contracts that mm -hmm. not all of them are expired, but some of them are. So you can ask for his soul and his angels to go up and break the, the expired contracts. But the ones that are still active, you can't mess with those. Like that's free will and nobody will go and break those. Yeah. But I feel like that'll help. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the first phrase I heard too was just in letting go. So I think it all ties into what you're saying. It's like hard, uh, hard to let go of certain things. So it's coming out in the OCD and the urinary stuff mm -hmm. or, or not coming out rather. Yeah. So the, the bloating, when you eat, it is like connected to like the digestion is connected to all of the stuff. So if you can clear up your digestion, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I am taking something cause I noticed that in the last purge, my digestion got kind of wacky. So I'm taking a certain probiotic that's helping. And I can put that link in the description. Hopefully I'll remember like later. 
Yeah, you I've been taking about like, that. So if if you, if it doesn't show up in the next hour, put a comment in there, and I will get it in. And I've been taking a like a spore based probiotic <clears throat> too, and that's been really helping. So Ooh. it's sounds good. Yeah. 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 Oh, so somebody's got like a little poltergeist Michelle. Oh. Um so somebody stole one of her trainers. Oh no, the lace was cut and took a little disc and it's gone. What is that about? That it's is like fairies. You've been yeah, go look at your yard. Have you disturbed something that looks like a fairy area? Seem like they're mad. They've been extra. Really extra. Yeah, they've been extra. They can be extra. <laughs> yep. So why will my cat not eat solid food? They have a toothache is what I'm getting. Mm. Yep. Um, yeah, I feel like we're kind of at the end, my, I'm running out of steam, but that is really good. Should I move or sell my house? Mm. I get no. Yeah. No, for some reason. Yeah. There's something still in that area that you're going to find. And things aren't moving. Like things are not selling too well right now that I'm seeing for at least in my circle. But yep. So Steph, that has something to do with like one of your soul tribe. That's like a parallel. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh so I'm going to answer one last one from Kathy. Will my daughter reunite with her twin flame? Mm. She'll reunite with someone. I, I feel like that was not, that was almost like a shadow thing that broke that up. She'll find somebody so much better for her. Agreed. So she needs to work on being happy by herself for a little while. I don't know if she's willing to do that or not, but. Yeah. It could take some time. We just yeah. got a bunch of questions, but. Get her so, out of her comfort zone. Take her on a trip. Get her out of her normal thing. She needs to be kind of shaken out of her daily grind. Someone's asking about kombucha too. It's really good. It's got a lot of good probiotics and it can be helpful in the digestive tract if it's helpful for you. feels like it would be, Michelle. Yeah. If you make it at home, you can start your own business. It creates so much. It's amazing. It does. I used to make it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm never going to keep up with this stuff. I know. So, <laughs> yeah. And we are going to be retiring soon. Everybody that is unhappy, just hold space for it. You know, anything that you want to create, hold space for it. Yep. Yes. Okay. Well, this was grand. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia. So much fun. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. We really appreciate you guys. And we'll have links below, and I will put the, uh, probiotics that I'm taking and we can do the one that Amelia is taking as well below. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Amelia. Thanks. Bye.